My name is Ali Minkowitz. Uh, so I'm a second year student in the MBA in Investment Management program at Concordia University in the uh, Goodman Institute of Investment Management. Um, and I think I took an unconventional approach to finance throughout the previous years of my life. So I started in undergrad um, in a bachelor's of science. So I graduated with a bachelor in kinesiology. Um, and at that time, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do so I uh, deferred actually going to law school for a year to work as a business development associate in a small firm in Toronto in private equity. Um, and I think that reinvigorated or introduced a passion for finance that I didn't know was there beforehand. I didn't know much about the industry. Um, and actually then my wife's uncle uh, told me about this program at Concordia and it blew me away. It was exactly what I was looking for without even knowing it existed. Um, and so I immediately applied. I had a great meeting with uh, with administration and started last year. And so far, it's been it's been a fantastic experience. After I finished my undergrad, I knew I wanted to do an MBA because I wanted to pursue some career outside of healthcare. And um, once I had that that year as a business development associate in the private equity firm, I knew that my goals were oriented towards that side of the industry. Um, while keeping an open mind when it came to, to things like capital markets. Um, and so I knew I wanted to do an MBA, but I didn't have the work experience to pursue an MBA without uh, writing the GMAT and then working simultaneously, which is why it took a year to work. Um, and then the original plan was to do a joint law degree combined with the MBA. Um, so I wrote the LSAT, I got into law school, I deferred. That's when I had heard about this program. I at Concordia, and I knew that because the curriculum incorporates much of the material from the CFA charter, it would prepare me both from a managerial perspective, but also give, give me the more granular detail that an analyst, either in capital markets or in private equity, would, would, uh, would need for the future. For my case specifically, because I did not have the background in finance or the experience or the knowledge, I really came in an open book. I, I basically knew nothing. Um, so I chose the MBA because of how tailored it was to students who want to get into finance as opposed to those who have that background who then want to pursue a master's to be more proficient or land a more senior role in a firm. But for me, it was how can I break into finance while learning as much as I can as quickly as I can. My wife and I uh, attended the virtual um, orientation a few months before I had applied or a month before I had applied or something like that. Um, and it seemed so specifically catered towards people who want to make a career in finance, who want to break into a career in finance, who don't necessarily have the conventional experience or prerequisites that a lot of analysts or associates in the industry have. And so we felt like that was a really good foray for me into the world of finance. but. The thing that I appreciated more and do appreciate more than the curriculum that we learn and what we're being taught is just how close everybody in the program feels and how important and unique everybody in the administration makes each student feel. Um, one of the things I mentioned in my application was that I had been a member of a class of six, seven hundred people in my undergrad in, in the healthcare program. Um, and at that point, you sort of feel like a number on a piece of paper. If there's ever any issue, if you need to speak to a professor, you don't really get that one-on-one -on -one time, that, that interaction that makes you feel like you're important within the, the breadth of the program. And here you really do. Um, and I'm, I'm, an, I'm an observant Jew, Jewish person, so I cannot write exams or attend classes on Sabbath, which goes from Friday evening to Saturday evening. And the way the program is structured is for people who work full time. So actually, the majority of our classes are on Saturday, which means exams are on Saturday. And so that caused a little bit of a problem for me. But right away at the beginning, the administration said, Ellie, not to worry. We'll record all the classes for you. You can write your exams on Sunday. We really don't mind. We're here to help you get through it. And that made me feel really important, really special and really appreciated in the program, which I had never felt before and I didn't expect. And so. To me, that's one of the main reasons why I love the program is how accommodating all the faculty have been, all the administration, and just how special you feel as a student. So because most of the courses we take have the CFA curriculum incorporated into what we're learning, it's difficult to deviate from the path of strictly capital markets, for example. So there's another program within Concordia called the Van Berkham Investment Management Program. 
where a group of students, it's a two year program, a group of students, we manage uh, a $2 million endowment fund. Um, and it opens up the opportunity to take other classes on the side outside of our basic or regular curriculum. So I joined the program last year when I started school. I got into the program for 2021 and 2022. So this year I'm managing the fund along with the rest of my cohort. But it opens up, it opens up the opportunity to take other finance classes, which I found very experienced, which I think would only have been available to undergraduate students. Um, so I'm very lucky to have been able to, to be given the opportunity to take these classes and also enjoy this program on the side. The program itself is structured in a way to be conducive to those working full time. So our classes are only one night a week during the week and then on Saturdays. For those working full time, the structure is, is brilliant. And uh, many of the students in, in my class are working full time, started the program already having worked full time. For me, I gave myself the first semester strictly in school because I didn't know how I would handle a new workload of, of new material that I had never studied before. So I wanted to give myself some space. And then the, uh, during one of the orientation days before our semester started, they introduced the Van Berken program, um, which gave you the practical experience of being a portfolio manager and being a fund manager without having to go work for 10 years in the industry. So fortunately, we make all the investment decisions. We come up with valuations, um, of reports, et cetera, and present them to, uh, to an industry of, of uh, sorry, to um, uh, like a, a, an investment committee of industry veterans. Um, that's given personally me the experience. Um, while at the same time, I, I worked the first summer, um, it also in a, in a long only equity fund. And then I am now in the process of looking for a job for this summer, uh, another internship to, to boost my my experience within the industry and then we'll be looking for a full-time position after i graduate next year so internships are not compulsory working is not compulsory at all um, i think it's beneficial for people who want to uh, obtain the cfa charter because you do need a minimum threshold of work experience so actually thankfully for me this van berkham investment program gives me that same experience um, but the career management services that we get in the MBA program, we have our, our own dedicated career advisor, uh, Bob, and he's been very, very helpful to me and I'm sure to other students. And he's always been available, whether in Zoom or when we were in person for those few weeks, I, I had a chance to go meet with him. Um, but he's very helpful. He, he gave me a list of firms to get in touch with. He, he got in touch with people for me. Um, so they really give the students that resource um, and that person, quote unquote, on the inside that can help you to, to find internships, to find jobs and whatever you need. When I started, I immediately reached out to, to our career advisor <clears throat> just to understand the industry in Montreal, because actually I'm originally from Toronto. I only moved to Montreal last year. Um, so when I came here, I knew a little bit about the finance industry in Toronto because of that year that I worked in business de as a business development associate. It opened my eyes a little bit. I was involved in the industry, um, but moving to Montreal is an entirely new playground, I guess. I didn't know anybody here in the industry. I didn't know any of the firms except for maybe a few of the big names. So immediately when I started, I set up uh, a couple of meetings with, with uh, our career advisor, told him basically what I thought I might be looking for in the future, whether that be for internships or for full time. He was gracious enough to supply me with uh, a number of firms to reach out to, uh, sent me a number of emails uh, with any job openings that he thought I might be interested in. Um, and we also get in our in during the orientation before our first year, we're shown how to access the myriad job postings that are available on the John Molson uh, website, how to find the ones that we might be interested in. We, we've had workshops on how to best build our CV. They really give you all the necessary tools and resources to come up with a great application, a great CV, a great cover letter, workshops on how to build your LinkedIn profile properly, how to interview properly. So really from steps A to Z, it's how to start the program, learn as much as you can, get a great job and thrive in your career. I was fortunate enough to get into this um, Van Berkham investment program on the side, which has become like a full-time job. So, I mean, I guess I could talk about it in terms of opportunity cost. So for me being in school and in this investment program, I am learning a ton, more than I ever could have imagined learning, which will benefit me in the future in my career. But had I not chosen to pursue an MBA, um, 
I could have been working. I don't know if I would have been as happy or would have been in a place where I want to be in the future, but I could be working, I could be making money. But to me, I tell myself every day, every time I learn something new and I can incorporate it into the work I do in the Van Berken program, that to me is the most fascinating thing because I've always had that experience, especially in, under, in undergrad. I'd learn something in class, I'd probably forget about it. I'd study it before the exam, write the exam and move on from there. But here I get to learn material from the CFA curriculum and the MBA curriculum. And the next day immediately incorporate that into the work I'm doing. And that just blew my mind. I, I thought that was amazing. I, I That was a switch that flipped for me that basically outlined for me, hey, look, what you're learning here is really gonna help you for the rest of your life. So make sure you know it, make sure you learn it, make sure you understand it. And you can see the tangible effect of what you're doing. And that to me was, was brilliant.